coisa, que coisa mais linda que Monte Graça e a Juliano é muito expansa. Save your coins, isto é expensei. Oh my god. Well, we finally got the guaranteed Premier League team of the season, SBC. It's 86 rated with, I believe, a team of the six. Team of the six. Okay? Yesterday was so tough, they gave us a kit. I don't understand. Happy Tuesday, bros, and welcome to probably the the, the most the, the day after the most disappointing day in FIFA. Uh, we got ourselves those two kits, PlayStation and Xbox. Interestingly enough, the Xbox kit was tradable, whereas the PlayStation one was, I believe, untradable. You guys maybe confirmed that for me, but I saw a post on Reddit, and I just still can't wrap my head around that. One was tradable, and the other was untradable. Again, I'm not 100% sure. Maybe you guys test that out. Uh, but we are here today for the team of the season moments. Juliano, a flashback to the time he got himself an 89 rated team of the season card. Uh, didn't play in the SPL, I don't believe. As a matter of fact, if we go over uh, and check his... Uh, if we go ahead and check his card, wasn't it... Um, wasn't it the Russian League? FIFA... 17 he was in the Russian League and played for Zenit uh, that's when he got that link into uh, that's when he got that link into halt an absolute mad lad that card was a 91 was a 91 rated this is an 89 with a few less stats 112 total in-game stat upgrade up from his 86 Saudi Premier League uh, uh, league SBC card and get some really really nice upgrades now the price is pretty steep I think it's over 150,000 coins the only pro that I could say outside of him having some pretty decent stats uh, the only pro that I could say, as a matter of fact, it shows that it's 23.7 million on uh, Footbin right now, which is obviously incorrect. It's hovering around 150, 160,000 coins. Requires two informs in the first one and an 83, and then the second SPC required just an 85 rated squad with a Brazilian included in. So, uh, at first glance of these stats, the dribbling stats are very, very nice. Marksman, we're going to juice that up. 89 stamina, very, very solid. Um, and then also the shooting stats, and the, the two things that stand out to me are, obviously, you guys know, when we look at a cam that could possibly play striker or another position, we look at fini uh, finish finishing. Finishing and composure, and he's got 89 in both uh, a nice bit, a bit of sprint speed but 84 not blistering by any means makes up for that with 91 three star weak foot four star skill moves Goes up to 98 agility, and you guys know we like ourselves a Brazilian mad lad that's short, uh, very much in the same mold as a couple of the other shorter guys that we featured this year, uh, and then has that high agility rating. Now, when we put a squad like this together, you guys are probably thinking yourselves, way, uh, you know, the Saudi League has a team of the season out right now, but we did an episode on that, so I figured because he's Brazilian, we put together a Brazilian mad lad squad, and that is exactly what we've done, a 188 rated Brazilian mad lad squad with Firmino, Alexander Pato, Juliano, Hulk, Willian and Talisha, we have absolutely no regard for having defensive stats on our players. This is a full-on Brazilian attack. We've got uh, Team of the Year, Marcelo, who we packed in one of the SBCs. We've got Felipe, who I've not used this year. Ederson, who we used yesterday, who was pretty decent. David Luiz, and then Dani Alves. So Brazil is represented quite nicely this year in FIFA. If you guys have done this SBC, let me know in the comment section below if this helps you figure out if you want to do this SBC or not. I would, I would very gently probably recommend not doing it. You could spend your coins better elsewhere. The only one of the only pros I would say is that he is Brazilian and he would link into a squad um, that you might want to, you know, if you run a full Brazil side, I doubt many of you guys are running a full Saudi league side. So for that matter, I would, you know, I would hesitantly, for how expensive it is, I would he say hesitantly pump the brakes on doing this SBC. Wait, you know, we've got a couple more days till, uh, uh, we got till Friday till a new team of the season comes out. And I think there's probably going to be much better SBCs uh, to put your money into if you're looking for a player that is going to be an impact signing. However, it is, it did come out today. So we're going to do a player's way view on him. We're going to get into a couple matches here. We're going to see if this Giuliano has any hidden stats, has anything that maybe is going to wow us. Again, three-star weak foot. We're going to see how that performs. Let's get into match number one. Joga bonito. What? And he's not even looking at the net. Oh, great. I love it. Not even looking at the net. Oh, 
Okay, if he gets one, I get one too. Juliano's not able to wrap that up. Anderson Taliska, however, fires an absolute mad lad rocket. Top left-hand corner of the net. Wasn't a time finish. Look at that rip. And a very pitter check doesn't stand a chance. A chance to move. He didn't want to. Pato trying to pick his way through with a spin number four. Pato ran him a keeper this time. There's no mistake. Alexander Pato. And a great Bringing goal. back a little bit of that Milan speed. Making a cheeky run there. A nice little send. I'm not sure if that was Juliano that provided the assist. But Talisha and Pato, the Chinese Super League Brazilians, are representing well. And again, let's check the uh, let's check the price of the SBC. Juliano is currently, it says 188. Yeah, dude, that's going to be a swerve. That's going to be a hard swerve recommendation right there. I mean, the reason that I make these videos is uh, is for you guys to see how he performs on the pitch. Obviously, you know, some of you guys might not have access to him. I, I would imagine a large majority of you guys aren't going to do this SBC unless for whatever reason you have a... <laughs> have detached nuts like I just had. I feel like this is a match where I should be winning. He just got some really lucky goals. Like, I know the Talisha one it probably should have gone in from Giuliano, but... Damn it, dude. He's right. Did you see something? Referee. No. No. He's right. Did you see something? Referee. That's a pen. And I've been up. I'm sorry, but what is this foul logic in this game, man? in the woods you tell me <laughs> if you hear oh sometimes all you can do is laugh sometimes all you can do is laugh that's two that's two Juliano the hero. If we take a, you know what? If we, the, the this game is 100% against us. I, I don't, I don't agree in momentum or scripting or anything like that. But I do believe in absolutely. Look at their camera shaking. The crowd is going wild. I do believe in absolutely horrible foul, uh, foul, not scripting, but foul coding. However, this game was coded to judge whether something's a foul or a pen or not. I just. <laughs> I think it's literally a 50-50. I think there's like a little, maybe there's like a hamster or something behind the scenes that just rolls a dice. Like a 50-50 dice. Stop it. Stop. Don't tell me. Was that in the box? Just the movement, it, it's... God, it makes me so mad. It makes me so mad! Back here! Some days I just regret logging on to FIFA. And, and today's one of them. Most days I enjoy it. Most days I enjoy playing the game and everything's fine. And, and everything is, everything is, for the most part, enjoyable. And then... Then a day like today happens. Wait for me, though. Maybe I take back what I just said. Maybe a, to, maybe a day like today happens, but maybe today is the day that was meant to happen. Maybe that pain in the first match was... Maybe I was meant to feel that pain in the first match in order to drive the energy and anger and channel that into the second one with a with maybe one of the best comebacks, because this guy's good. This guy is a La Croqueta master.
Okay, 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 okay! Jesus! Is this Weekend League? Are we playing Weekend League right now? Alexander Pato's probably been the best player so far for us. Pato has easily been the best player for us. Juliano, I wonder if he's better served as a striker, to be fair. Oh my god, what? What? Bro, my controller literally felt like it shut up. I think I've got a glitch controller. I'm blaming it on my, uh... I'm blaming it on my Minecraft pig controller. Oh, please. It's the second time Courtois made the single hand save. It's the second time he's made that save on Giuliano. It's gotta be in. We lose back-to-back -back games. Giuliano gets himself zero goals, zero assists in this match. Scored himself the equalizer in match number one. But it wasn't enough, and I'm going to have to give it a hard pass, bros. It is 160,000 coins for this SPC. Are you kidding me? Wait, is it? Is, it's it's 175,000 coins. No freaking way. Unless we get something sweet in the packs. But uh, nice performance from the rest of the boys. But outside of that, I got to say, uh, and I feel like we deserved more out of that one. 11 shots, 8 on target. Juliano had a couple. He had Courtois in net, so he just has that one hand, just that magic one hand. He's got the Jamie Lannister one-hander. That just uh, keeps everything out of the back of the net. And the difference in that match, wouldn't you know it, an Alison Becker-esque save. So the next time we put together a Premier League or a uh, Brazilian side, we're using that team in the season, Alison Becker, and see if maybe he's worse than Ederson, who just absolutely screwed us in that match. So uh, we are going to pop open. What do you get? For 175k, surely you get a couple of good packs, right? A rare gold pack and a mega pack. Okay. That's going to be a yikes for me. 131,000 coins for a mega pack. 85 rated. Thick enough for a board? Yes. So we get at least a, we get at least a board. Spain, right mid Suso. Yeah, it's going to be Suso. We're going to skip that because that's embarrassing. And then the rare gold pack is the pack. I believe it has 12 players in it. That's where we packed our Fernandinho. Probably could have used, if I'm being honest with you, probably could have used Fernandinho in that match to help us defensively. But really, it was just more about experimenting with the, uh, the attacking that is the Brazilian sides in FIFA. So... We got the rare gold pack here. Is there any chance that we can hit magic twice? And it's not going to happen. Uh, but we do get ourselves another board. No. God. Guys, uh, this is going to be a thumbs down. Even on the pitch performance, not a full thumbs down. Uh, he's got the agility. He's got distance shooting. He's got nice finishing as well as composure. Probably better served as a striker, at, uh, a right striker, if I'm being honest with you. That's going to do it for the epi. I'm going to give this one a hard pass. Not worth doing this as an SBC, even for the rating. 170,000 coins. you got to be kidding me. Uh, and again, guys, hard pass. Ederson, I can't believe what I saw with my own eyes. Uh, just absolutely let us down like team of the season, Allison Becker, but like I would expect him to. Uh, and like I said, next time we use a Brazilian or Premier League side, we will try out that team of the season, Becker. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed this episode. Yeah, hopefully we get a better player team of the season, SBC, tomorrow. I'm hoping for maybe a Jimenez, man. Where the hell is that Jimenez or Guilty Sigurdsson? If you guys did enjoy the epi, drop a like on the video. If you guys are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button down below. We'll be streaming later today on Mixer. Going to be streaming at least for a few hours. Going to be doing drafts as well as those guaranteed Premier League team of the season packs. But anyway, hopefully you guys have enjoyed. I will see you guys for another upload tomorrow. Till next time, bros. Tschüss. Later. Update.